Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to determinants. We have to prove that debt of this matrix is equal to 2ABC into A plus B plus C into whole cube. Debt of this matrix is equal to 2ABC into A plus B plus C whole cube. Now how will we solve this problem? One approach is we will try to do R1 is assigned R1 minus of R2 minus R3 so that we can get in terms of A11 element 2BC. Then after that we can do R2 minus and R3 minus so that we can make these two as 0. So our approach is first to make this into more easier value then after that you apply some elementary operations from with respect to the rows and try to make them zeros then we have only one element so that means we have to find out the debt of one two by two matrix so let's go ahead and first write down r1 is assigned r1 r1 is assigned r1 minus of r2 plus r3 what will happen when we do that? Let us check that. R1 will be B plus C whole square minus of B square plus C square that will be 2BC and A square will do it here in the rough A square minus of C plus A whole square plus C square that is A square minus 2c square minus a square minus 2ac a square a square cancel so you can write it as minus 2c into a plus c similarly when we do on the other side we will have minus 2b into a plus b we can check that a square minus b square minus b square minus 2b square minus 2ab minus 2b into a plus b remaining rows will remain the same b square here c plus a whole square here c plus a whole square then we have b square we have c square c square and a plus b whole square now first thing first we can take that 2 out after that we will apply r2 is assigned r2 minus something into r1 similarly r3 is assigned r3 minus something into r1 so that we can make first co first column second and third elements as 0 r a 2 1 and a 3 1 as 0 so that's our approach so first let's take out 2 out we will have 2 will bring out bc minus 2c into a plus c minus 2b into a plus b we have here b square then we have c plus a whole square we have b square then we have c square c square and a plus b whole square let's go to the next step next step we will write down R2 is assigned R2 minus now we want to make B square minus BC equal to 0 so what should we do we should multiply with B square and we should divide with BC then BC BC will cancel we'll get B square minus B square equal to 0 now what is B square by BC BB will cancel we have B by c so can i write down r2 minus r1 into p by c this will make sure that the first element of second row is zero similarly r3 is assigned r3 minus r1 into now next what we want to do is we want to do c square minus bc equal to 0 so we have to divide by bc multiply with c square that's nothing but c by b 
R1 into C by B. So let's apply the transformation, whatever elementary transformation we have given. So R1 will be the same. So I can write down BC minus 2C into A plus C then minus 2B into A plus B. Oh, 2 is not there because we have removed 2 outside. So this 2 is not there. So we have BC minus C into A plus C minus B into A plus B. Let's do R2 now. R2 minus R1 into B by C will become 0. This is also 0. That is only the idea. Now R2 minus R1 into B by C is C square. C plus A whole square. R2 is C plus A whole square. Minus of minus is plus. Plus A plus C into C into B by C. So we can write it as B. Next we have B square plus B A plus B into B into B by C. Can I say A plus B B square by C? Similarly, when we go to R3, we have C square plus A plus C into C square divided by B because we are doing R3 is assigned R3 minus of R1 into C by B that is C square minus of minus is plus C into C by B that is C square by B into A plus C. Next, the last one we have that is B square plus B into A plus B into C by B. C B into A plus B into C by B. So, B B will cancel. We have A plus B into C. C equal to simplify. First row will be BC minus C into A plus C minus B into A plus B. Second row we will have 0 and third. Next we, we can take C plus A common. So that will be C plus A into A plus B plus C. And here when you take LCM you will get B square by C into A plus B plus C. And third row, when we go, we have 0. Then we have C square by C square into A plus B plus C divided by B. And here we have A plus B One small correction I did here. Earlier we made a small mistake here. We took B square. It is A plus B whole square. So this will become A plus B into A plus B plus C. So let's go ahead and write down. That will be A plus B A plus B into a plus B plus C. Now we can see that in second row and third row we can take A plus B plus C common. So let's do that. That is equal to next step. We can write it as we can take out A plus B plus C from second row and third row. It will become 2 into a plus B plus C whole square left out is BC first row is not changed minus C into A plus B A plus C and minus B into A plus B second row we will have 0 we will have C plus A then we will have B square by C third row we will have 0 
we will have c square by b then we will have a plus b let's go to the next step if we expand this debt with first row we will have 2 into a plus b plus c whole square and only one 2 by 2 debt that is c plus a b square by c c square by b and a plus b but we know this is equal to a d minus b c how we got this because we expand with this particular column then only this is non-zero so this row this column is eliminated we are interested in only this 2 by 2 matrix 2 by 2 debt so that's equal to 2 by 2 2 into a plus b plus c whole square bracket c plus a into a plus b that is a d minus b c that is b square c square by b c if we simplify we will have also we are multiplying with uh, b c b c will be here because we are opening with that particular element so it will be 2 b c into a plus b plus c whole square into open the bracket we will have a c plus b c plus a square plus a b minus b c we can cancel b c b c then we can take a common it will be 2 a b c left out is one more a plus b plus c so that will be 2 a b c into a plus b plus c whole cube so that is one way how we can solve this problem let us just have a recap of that what we did first we did r1 is assigned r1 minus of r2 plus r3 or r1 minus r2 minus r3 so that b square c square will cancel we are left out with 2 bc after that we took 2 out common then we did r2 equal to r2 minus r1 into b by c so that this becomes 0 similarly r3 minus r1 into c by b so that this particular element becomes 0 then we can just expand the debt with 1 2 by 2 one element that is bc we multiplied with that we simplified we got our answer